It is the 31st of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I hope everybody has a safe and fun New Year's Eve, no matter where you're at or what you do. Uh, whether if you're heading out for amateur night, we like to call it here, or uh, you're just staying at home with family and friends and loved ones. Let's go ahead and start tonight on SOT.net. Air traffic alert after Alaska volcano spews ash cloud. Now this is the Cleveland volcano, of course, we've been reporting on. Um, and there's major air traffic lanes between Asia and the United States uh, right through that path. And it did go almost three miles into the sky. Uh, they're still reporting on the new island born in the Red Sea after volcanic activity. And you can remember that's the, the volcano that's been going off in the Red Sea I've been reporting about. United States mild weather redefines winter landscape. At the National Arboretum, the white petals of snowdrops, normally an early spring flower, have unfurled. In Maine's Acadia National Park, lakes still have patches of open water, instead of being frozen solid. And in Donna Islar's backyard in downtown Atlanta, the apricot tree has started blooming. And the story just goes on to, to go on about uh, how uh, this is a very mild and warm winter here in the United States. Uh, the Washington area, the region, is on track for its fourth warmest year on record, along with its seventh warmest December. And that in turn has created conditions where plants are blooming earlier and some birds are lingering before moving south. Canada, debris from Japan tsunami washes up on British Columbia shores. Uh, beachcombers in Tofino have noticed a significant uptick in debris from J Japanese origin on their shores. A sign that items swept out to sea by the tsunami in Japan may have found their way to British Columbia earlier than expected. And of course we've been reporting on uh, how the local police officers have been given Geiger counters and you're supposed to report this debris to the police uh, for safety and personal effects and that kind of thing. Um, crumbling infrastructure, we got a bunch of big sinkholes due to man-made causes. Uh, Pennsylvania, U.S. giant sinkhole opens up in Homewood. Uh, collapsed sewer line caused a giant sinkhole up to open up in Homewood on Thursday morning. Uh, Pennsylvania, U.S. massive sinkhole prompts evacu evacuations, need to move dozens of graves and relocate families. And a broken water main's to blame for that one. Sinkholes swallow more cars. This time, two cars are swallowed at an intersection in Polk City, Florida. And that's not an uncommon thing for uh, Florida. Another sinkhole swallows another car, this time in Texas. Uh, customers in the Lower Valley neighborhood have running water again after a broken pipe shut off services this morning. The water main break caused a giant sinkhole that was big enough to swallow part of a police car. And deadly cyclone Thane hits southern India. 11 people killed as storm reaches wind speeds as high as 125 kilometers per hour, bringing, it, uh, bringing with it tidal surges of up to 1.5 meters. That was about 5 feet or so. Lashing rains and gale force winds bearing down on India's southeastern coast, disrupting power supplies and communication lines as cyclone Thane makes landfall near the industrial city of... Um, oh. I'm not going to mispronounce the name. Uh, they're also reporting rice, groundnut, and maize crops in coastal area of two southern Indian states could be damaged by this uh, cyclone. And that's about all they have today. Um, we do have a 5.3 earthquake, uh, the southern island of New Zealand, just off the coast of Christchurch. Uh, its depth was at 10.1. Uh, kilometers, so this is relatively shallow, and I know for sure these people uh, definitely felt that earthquake. Uh, nothing else major going on climate change wise today, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. UN's agency reported of second explosion at reactor number three must have been made after consulting with RSMC Tokyo, uh, says the EXSKF is a website I go to a lot too as well. AP, Massive Fire Engulfs Nuclear Submarine, uh, they have videos out on that now. The Atlantic Mafia ties some lawmakers pushed to nationalize TEPCO. Three of Fukushima's 50 were local bosses or soldiers, say journalists. 
New Japan government report singles out critical conditions of Unit 3. Explosions at reactor were presumably caused by hydrogen. Fukushima mother weeps to reporter, I wish my daughters were never born. I apologize to them for giving birth. And that's for uh, what all these people are going through right now in Japan. Arnie Gunderson speaks up. Trucks dumping nuclear waste into Tokyo Bay for many years to come. Uh, please look ahead at 2012, and he has a video out. Um, I believe I attached my climate change to last night. Um, I've been talking to you about how uh, TEPCO has been dumping this into Tokyo Bay for quite a while. Japan has become a radioactive tea bag in the Pacific Ocean. And that's about all they have new tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, try to have some fun today. Enjoy what I can, everybody. Be safe if you're going out tonight. And I'll see you in 2012 for sure.